guys, this is my new build e bike. It's a power pump, uh, 750 watt pump motor right here. This one here. And uh, I put a 80 volt batteries. And I put another adapter right here so I can carry two batteries. So whenever one runs out, I can put another in to keep ready. Especially if you are a hunter, so you know you go some wild management area. So you can use the one battery to go in, another battery to go out. This is a 750 watt uh, hub motor. But the 750 watt is uh, based on the 48 volt. So right now I'm using uh, 80 volt, which uh, pretty much double the double the power, you know. Uh, and the problem with the motor is uh, the wire come out of the motor is too thin. That's why I replace the wire. This is a new three-phase wire right here. So right now this is a 14, eight, 14 gauge. Uh, I think the original probably 18 gauge. Very thin. So this is a much much uh, thinker than the original one. I just want to quick show you the original wire from uh, Bafang. See the wire is pulling out. In this way you can get uh, more current goes to the battery and when, whenever you use a bigger um, battery you definitely can get power. I mean if you ride on the city way, pretty much you never really give full throttle because <laughs> that would be so fast. <laughs> so if you ride on the city way, you probably don't really need to change the wire. But uh, if you ride on the off-road like a deep grass and a deep snow, which you, which basically you cannot really pandle at all. You know, the pandle doesn't keep you going. Think about if it's deep snow, you have to give initial speed to uh, ride on the snow. Otherwise, your back is sink down. So, pretty much, it's no way to just uh, pandle the back in the snow. It's the same thing in the deep grass as well. You have to use the, you know, the motor to go over the snow. Uh, that's why I need to change, you know, this uh, face wear to uh, to get more power goes to the motor. I mean, the motor itself is really strong motor, definitely, really good motor. It just uh, it just the uh, wire is bad. So this is the Bafong geared hot motor uh, since I used the 80 volt battery. So this cable actually burning out. So overpower <laughs> for the cable. Because uh, the cable is too thin, I think. So I'm going to replace the cable with, uh, you know, a little bit thinker cable. So when once you unscrew those, you can pull this out. But uh, even you pull it out, you can see the cover. You know they have a sealed bearing right here. So the cover is really hard to take it out. You want to use a puller to uh, pull out this cover right here to. Uh, without damage any uh, parts like this so the puller I just borrowed from uh, AutoZone yeah, this is a great thing about AutoZone when I, whenever you need something you know professional tool that you don't really want to buy you can just borrow them from AutoZone I see right now I'm pulling this out. Okay, I'm completely open the cover. So you can see the wire goes inside and then come out from here. And you can see how thin this wire it is. So this is your face wire. 
so definitely 16, even 18 grade wire, you know. So I'm going to replace with 14 gauge wire, okay. So now I uh, replace the wire. This is the standard uh, 14 gauge wire. It's much, much, much thicker than the original. And you let all the wire go through and come out from there. It's, it's, it's not really easy. <laughs> it's very small hole. It's not really easy to go through there. But uh, yeah, it's definitely durable. So I already uh, soldering all the wires together. You can see this is a one, two, three. Three face wire is right there. And then I also soldering the hole sensor wire. And normally I will put a you know the color label on this side, but I just can't find any <laughs> color label at home. So uh, instead I just uh, take a picture so I know which wire link to uh, which one. Then later on when I link to the uh, speed controller I can figure out you know which one is which okay so I'm going to use this uh, liquid tape to uh, put on the whole uh, hall sensor wire you know otherwise you know you will you will short on each other you know so that's what I'm going to do and then uh, uh, tie everything together and put back on the cover yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much it okay so the wire is been finished you can see it's come out from here and go to the controller i also put a marker on the wire yellow, blue, and green, <laughs> and this is my 80 volt battery, and uh, we'll see if this works. Put a little bit of throttle to see if it's moving. Okay, good, it's moving. <laughs> Okay, so a lot of question people ask is uh, is a uh, is a uh, is a range, what what range you can get from the batteries. Uh, so this is a four amp hour eighty volt batteries. Uh, so four amp hour eighty volt equal like a eight amp hour forty volt. You know, <laughs> you just you can count it in that way. So if you ride on the city street, uh, I mean. By the cruising, this battery can give you roughly a uh, 10 mile in that range. Uh, I mean cruising, which means you you still pedal. You just use the power to uh, to go uphill to get speed. You know the the main time. You know you you, you still pedal. Okay, that's a cruising range. Basically, pretty much all e back on the market. They tell you they can ride for 20 miles, 30 miles. <laughs> it's all talk about the cruising time, okay? For me, like uh, I uh, ride in the deep snow, uh, so basically I pretty much full throttle all the time. And uh, even full throttle, it doesn't really get so high speed because it's really deep snow, you know, with deep grass. So in that situation, I, one battery can give you roughly a two to three mile in that range. Uh, that's why you know I put another adapter. So I know one way in, one way out. <laughs> okay.
Okay, yeah, that's about the uh, you know buff on hub motor. Once you replace those wires, this is amazing, powerful motor. You know, yeah. Okay, any questions? Leave me a comment, and uh, we'll see you next time. Ah! 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 Ah!